You know, it would be wonderful if all your prospects declared their undying love for you and only you. Hmm? But the truth is, your prospects aren't all that into the idea of marketing monogamy. They find it rather boring, much in the same way a skydiving thrill seeker finds the merry-go-round a bit on the dull side. Sure, your prospects joined your mailing list, and you're seeing them buy from your links here and there. They might even send you an occasional note, reply to your blog posts, or post on your Facebook wall about how awesome you are. Well, it's good for the ego, but kind words alone don't pay the bills, do they? See, here's the thing. Your prospects are looking out for their own interests. And that's natural. That's fine. But this means you need to be on your toes, because they could run off into the sunset hand-in-hand with your competitors. Not good. Let's imagine for a moment that all else is equal between you and your nearest competitor. Both of you have developed a relationship with a particular prospect. The prospect knows, likes, and trusts both of you. If you both tossed an affiliate link in front of this prospect, she's probably just going to buy from whatever link gets dropped in front of her first, right? I don't know about you, but racing to be the first to get an affiliate link in front of your prospects sounds totally exhausting. Plus, you got to keep in mind there's all sorts of technical glitches that could mess up this strategy anyway, like an email service provider going down right when a new product is launching. Hey, it happens. But the good news is there's a way to overcome this. And all you have to do is train your subscribers and other prospects to wait on their purchase until they see what sort of bonus product you're offering if they buy through your affiliate link. No doubt you're probably quite familiar with the strategy of adding value to an affiliate offer. You can use it to boost your conversion rate even with cold prospects who perhaps stumble on a product review on your blog. And that's because people like getting more bang for their buck. However, it's also a super slick way to get more of your longtime subscribers and other prospects to buy from your link on newly launched products because they know you're going to offer them an incredible deal that they can't get anywhere else. You see, I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. Some affiliates create bonus offers which are so attractive that their prospects buy the product almost entirely for the reason that they want to get their hands on the bonus offer. Now, you might be wondering why an affiliate would do this. If their product is so amazing, why don't they just sell it directly? Well, a lot of affiliates don't want to mess with stuff like that. They don't want to deal with customer service inquiries. They don't want to deal with refunds. They don't want to deal with fulfillment and all that other tedious stuff. They'd rather just blast their promo out to their newsletter list and then go back to enjoying their leisure time. So all of this leads to the question, what makes a good bonus product to offer to those who buy something through your affiliate link? Let me share with you a few characteristics. First, the bonus product should complement or enhance the main offer. You're not going to do yourself any favors if you offer a barely related product as a bonus, okay? If this bonus product is going to boost sales for you, it needs to be directly related to the vendor's product. And better yet, it should somehow work with the vendor's product. One example of this would be if you offer free installation to anyone who purchases a piece of software through you. If the software comes with a big commission and installation only takes a few minutes, then this is a pretty simple bonus for you to deliver. If you don't want to take the time, this would be something that would be very easy to outsource also. Most times, however, you'll probably offer a downloadable product so that the process is automated and you don't have to lift a finger anyway. For example, if someone purchases an affiliate offer through your link such as a bodybuilding guide, then you might offer a free in-depth report about bodybuilding supplements. One more example. If you're promoting a product about how to write a thriller novel, then you might offer a book full of thriller plot lines and outlines. You might even give free access to a tool that converts a Word document into a Kindle-compatible format for those who intend to sell on Amazon. The second set of characteristics that make a bonus product produce more sales is if the product is valuable and desirable. Some affiliates think if they stack a bonus package with enough products, then their prospects won't be able to resist. That's wrong. No matter what you're offering, you better make sure it's something your prospects want, which you can determine by doing some market research. And you better make sure it's valuable, otherwise your prospects won't view your bonus as any sort of incentive at all. A lousy bonus might even get the prospects fleeing from you the way those magnets we talked about earlier repel each other. If you want a good example of a couple of affiliate marketers who know how to produce valuable, desirable bonuses, then check out bestbonusblog.com. That'll give you some good ideas of what works. And here's the third factor that makes for a good bonus product. A professional presentation. 
You want your bonus product to look professional. Just because it's a free bonus doesn't mean that you can put up shoddy, unprofessional work, okay? Instead, be sure to get good graphics when applicable, get the product itself formatted properly. If you're selling software, make sure you have a polished user interface. You see, everyone says don't judge a book by its cover, but your prospects are going to do exactly that. So make a good impression by giving them something that looks as good as it works, okay? The fourth factor that makes a good bonus product is that it should continue working for you as a sales tool. Now, this factor is not going to boost your conversion rate when you're selling affiliate products. However, this factor works to your benefit after the sale as it serves as a subtle sales tool if giving away products as bonuses. There's a good chance that not everyone who claims your bonus is already on your mailing list, right? These products may have seen your offer on your blog, on your Facebook page, on Twitter, or even from an email forwarded by a friend. So the first thing your bonus needs to do is direct the reader or user to your lead magnet page so they can join your mailing list. Secondly, your bonus product may include links to other offers. For example, if your bonus product is a low-calorie cookbook, then you might link to some other good cookbooks for dieters, like a book of smoothie recipes. Another example, if your bonus product is about building a mailing list, then you'd naturally include affiliate links for your favorite third-party email service provider. Okay, so the bottom line is that your bonus offer should be highly attractive to your prospects, maybe even something so good that they'll order the affiliate product just to get their hands on your juicy bonus. And here's one final bonus tip. If you've created a product that really seems in high demand and it does a good job of creating back-end income or more subscribers for you, then you might consider approaching the vendor and offering them the giveaway rights to this bonus. That's right, you let the vendor give this bonus away to everyone who purchases the product. The vendor loves it because they get valuable content to offer to their customers for free. Customers love it, and you'll love it too, because now you're getting a stream of proven buyers clicking on your other affiliate links inside the product and joining your mailing list. Pretty slick, isn't it? So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Take a look at what you're doing right now. Are you adding value to your offers? If so, are you offering bonus products or services that are like catnip to a cat? If not, it's time to whip up something a little more enticing. You'll be glad you took the time to do this once you see how it affects your commission checks. Now at this point, I know you aren't about to settle for doing ho-hum affiliate marketing, so you're about to discover how to do affiliate marketing like a boss.